Cooking with Space. Sorry about the wait, but keto made me a god and I had a long list of divine duties to attend to, but I'm no longer on keto and today I'm making a steak dinner with caramelized onions, roasted brussels sprouts, a baked potato, and a red wine pan sauce. So to start, I'm covering the steak in olive oil on both sides, as well as covering with salt on both sides, then letting sit for an hour to come up to room temp. I'm setting the oven to an undisclosed temperature, as well as getting my pan nice and hot while I chop up two yellow onions. I'm making cuts lengthwise to have the onions, then making long slices towards the center to get these strips of onion, which are what I see other people do when they make caramelized onions, so that's what I'm doing. A bit of oil in the pan, let it heat up, then in go the onions. I'm gonna spatulate them a little to break them into individual slivers, and then I'm going to grab a fork and a pair of isotoner gloves to do my best O.J. Simpson impersonation. Toss it into a bowl to coat with oil and salt, which will be pretty much useless in coating the tater in salt. And then onto a baking sheet and into the preheated oven and check back on the onions, of which I had too many to fit into one pan, so I needed to get another oiled and heated up. When the pan gets a bit too much onion fawn for comfort, give it a little deglazing with some humble bottled water. Now let's get our Brussels sprouts prepared. It's a simple process. We're just cutting off the little nubby stem at the bottom, then chopping in half and removing the loose leaves that fall off the outside. Here it is three more times in case you didn't catch it the first time. Then we're going to toss them into a bowl because we didn't learn our lesson last time and coat the Brussels sprouts a little more successfully with oil, salt, and black pepper. Take a moment to show off your pan tossing skills. If you want to see the salad tossing skills video, that's on my OnlyFans. Also, check this out real quick. If you want to open a bottle, but you don't have a bottle opener, all you need is a flat surface to use as a wedge. Like in this case, a lighter. Wrap your hand around the neck tightly, press the wedge into your hand underneath the lip of the bottle cap, then just apply force and voila! This is a neat trick to show off at parties and let everyone know you're an alcoholic. I'm grabbing the baking sheet from the oven and tossing the brussels sprouts on them, then back in the oven for 37 minutes, or when you start to see the edges turn brown and crispy. I see that the onions are a lot less packed in their pans, so I'm going to be a cheap restaurant and marry them like half-used ketchup bottles. Now it's steak time. I'm getting each side of the steak covered in a thick layer of black pepper, also getting a great view of the corner of this cupboard, pouring the leftover oil from the plate into the pan, and oh no no no, that onion fond is burnt. Great. Clean the pan real quick. Rookie mistake right there, gotta pay more attention. Alright, toss the steak into the pan with a bit of oil. Check on the Brussels sprouts, and they're looking pretty good. Going to set them aside and put the potato back in the oven for a little longer. A bit of butter into the pan before I remember I need to foil up the sprouts to keep them nice and warm. Grab the garlic cloves that I totally mentioned getting peeled earlier in the video, you just weren't paying attention, and go ahead and toss them into the butter. This amount of butter is surely not basteable, so I add another knob and I proceed to gather up spoonfuls of that lovely garlic infused butter and baste it lovingly over the top and sides of my steak. After about a minute or so, I'm going to check on the bottom. It could use a little more time to get a nice crust going, but for now I'm going to base this bottom and let that top side crust up. That's looking pretty nice, so another flip to replicate that on the other side. And once I'm at that point, I'll give it a bit of searing to each of the outside edges, toss on a plate, and let rest for about 10 minutes under a sheet of heavy-duty aluminum foil to give it time to firm up and retain its juices. And then, oh god, oh no, what am I doing? Where am I? Who am I? Oh, that's right, the sauce. 
So I'm grabbing a bit of Cabernet Sauvignon and pouring it into the pan, then using a whisk to deglaze the steak fawn from the bottom of the pan. That's why I made sure to grab the stainless steel pan for the same pan a lot. Stainless steel pan for this meal. You won't get fond using a nonstick pan. I'm tossing in a few sprigs of rosemary and topping off a little more wine. And also giving the onions a little mix. Can't forget about those. Heat goes up a little further, and then I'm going to let the sauce reduce down until it's reached about a, a little thicker of a consistency than this. At that point, I want to remove the garlic and rosemary from the pan, reduce until the sauce leaves an opening when you drag your spoon through it, then drop the heat and mount the sauce with another pad of butter. That's right, this small amount of sauce has like half a stick of butter in it. Basically just butter and wine and, oh yeah, some lemon juice. Half that lemon, then squeeze it in slightly off camera, mix, and the sauce is ready. Time to plate up. Baked potato. The steak has leaked some of its juices, unfortunately. I could have possibly avoided that by dry brining the steak beforehand, but it's too late for that now. Caramelized onions on top, our roasted Brussels sprouts, and then sauce off to the side for dipping. Of course, cut open a bit of the baked potato because this meal doesn't have enough butter in it yet. Get those sprouts nice and organized and uh, wait, wait a minute, where did this extra fork come from? Ah, this whole video has been a mess. Make sure you get the requisite photos cut open to show everyone you're capable of a perfect medium rare. And capture the photo evidence because you know they won't believe you. And then finally it's time to dig in. And of course a steak dinner is going to be delicious, but my oh my is this just fantastic. The steak is cooked perfectly, the potato is nice and fluffy, the sprouts are absolutely spot on, and the sauce is just so rich and decadent. All around one of the best meals I've cooked for myself, uh, maybe even one of the best meals I've ever eaten. Listen to that primal scream. That's a man enjoying his food. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, night, day, week, month, year, whatever it is you're watching this video. Goodbye.